So, hello and welcome to the Think Bamboo podcast. I'm your host, JJ, and our guest today is Dr. Kojo Charles Amodi, uh, directly at the European Bamboo Expo in Germany. Um, he's from Uganda, from Kontiki Bamboo. So, welcome, Charles, to the show. Thank you very much, Think Bamboo podcast, JJ. <laughs> I'm glad, glad to have met you. After a very long time, after having seen your podcast on Bamboo. Thank you for, for joining. I really appreciate your time. I know you're at the expo right now. Um, we see the background. We see uh, your uh, logo also there. Um, how how w was the exposition so far? It's the first day now. Um, is it the first time you have been at the European Bamboo Expo? Or is it? have you already been there last year? This is the first time for this Bamboo Expo and has been great with many people, with a lot of experience, and we have got very many people coming to our stand, and they are very interested in our products, and we have really even got more contacts for partners interested in working with us and even getting our products for marketing in Europe. We have over eight people who have promised to come and visit us in Uganda, starting from next month, so we have a series of uh, it has been worth it and very, very, very interesting and a nice expo bamboo, which has made Kontiki to another level. Besides that, we are also sponsors for the bronze for this Bamboo Europe Expo. We are awesome. privileged and very happy and glad to have been a part of this great expo. That that, that sounds pretty pretty positive. I'm, I'm glad it's, it's working out so well right now. Um, we um, wanted to share uh, some things regarding action. Okay, we're back. We have to fight with the internet connection today. So um, we have uh, four main topics together we'd like to share with you today. First one is manufacturing different bamboo products. So this is the main uh, focus you have with uh, Kontiki Bamboo. Is, is that right, Charles? Yes, we are doing the entire bamboo value chain supply. We do from nurseries. We raise over 200,000 seedlings every season. We have two in Uganda, and then we are also into supplying seedlings to art growers, those who are interested in growing bamboo, and eventually they will supply us the bamboo we shall buy from them for our factory. So in so doing, we are doing a, a, a contract a contract of taking from our outgrowers, and we have a community of about 230 bamboo farmers. Wow, then that's big. We also have we also have our own plantations. We have oh. 780 acres. 380. Of bamboo. We. 780 acres of bamboo, about five, six years old. The youngest is now about three weeks in the ground. And uh, we have three species we are promoting. Our okay. biggest species is the Calamus asper. The Calamus asper. We also are growing the Abyssinica, Athresias Abyssinica, which is mm -hmm. solid, and a bit of bamboo vulgaris. So we have plantations, and then we are also doing value chain in terms of productions. We have a factory which we have built using bamboo construction materials, and it's about 700 square meters where we are doing bamboo toothpicks, we are doing skewers, weaving for blinds, and also we are now going to start doing our treatment using uh, bamboo steam boilers, whereby we get our wastes, we treat our bamboo, and it's a green energy efficient, and then we do also carbonizing to turn our bamboo to different types of coloring, dark chocolate, colors coffee and then we do drying of the bamboo moisture using a dryer 
using the wastes into the drying moisture. And then we do the two and four planing. Then we do boards. And then we are also doing bamboo biochar. Wow. Uh, the wastes which we get from other parts of the bamboo, we use it for our bamboo biochar. Our and, bamboo and... biochar is used for agriculture. Yeah, exactly. That was my, my, my follow-up question. So okay. you produce, you do upcycling of the bamboo waste you do with all the manufacturing and you transform that into um, bamboo biochar, which then again is applied to agriculture. Could be bamboo, could be fruit trees, could be anything, right? Um, vegetables. Correct. Yes. And how big And then that... from there... Yeah. We should be able, when we supply the farmers, they should be able to put on their plants, improve their, uh, their agricultural growth of their plants, and then they fix the carbon to the soils. And we shall be able, we're now being certified by a company called Bioflux from, from Benla, Belgium, which will certify us and we get bamboo carbon credit. Wow, but that's pretty impressive, Charles. So you're you're doing a, a, a huge, amazing spectrum of things with bamboo right Think now bamboo. already. How long JJ, has the Contiki bamboo been operational so far? Yeah. JJ, I'm saying when we do our biochar, which has applied to farmers, they'll put it into their crops, they'll fix the carbon to the ground. We are now at advanced stages of doing our certification for carbon credit trading from a biochar carbon process. And our test results are very promising. The carbon was very good. The nutrients are very good. So that's what we are doing in Europe. We have companies coming to Uganda who are interested in carbon trading. So our farmers will benefit from the biochar, from a better utilization, and instead of using inorganic fertilizers, they'll use our biochar. And of course, we are employing many people, both in our factory and in our carpentry and craft workshop. We're employing young girls, young boys, who are making chairs and furniture and other interior designs. So you, you're uh, generating a new uh, generation of, of bamboo enthusiasts and, and professionals right now. Okay, so we are, we're going to yes. cut that later. But basically, what you're doing is uh, pretty amazing. You have a huge range of bamboo applications, um, not limited to uh, manufacturing. You're doing bamboo biochar. Um, you're doing also lots of bamboo awareness for younger uh, people. So you're uh, implementing them into the whole operation. Um, so uh, this, is, uh, this is amazing. I'm really uh, impressed. I'm impressed. <laughs> this is pretty Thank cool. You. Thank you. And um, from the numbers I've heard, um, uh, your operation is, is uh, quite uh, also like uh, sustainable. So you have like a, a, quite a big community, over 100 members growing bamboo um, within that community, right? And um, yes. uh, acres you mentioned be before where you have bamboo plantations. I'm not sure I, I understood the number correctly. The, the, the sound was a bit delayed. Um, how many acres did you say it was? 780 acres as Kontiki Bamboo 